probably fair to say that I don't have a whole lot to, uh, of credibility with this game. But it, it's, oh, it's also fair to say that I'm doing it. I'm here. I'm playing. So we have the 8th of December turn and the Soviets won initiative. And they, of course, having uh, just had a turn, elected to take uh, initiative and reinforce their success. Uh, so this um, still fairly thin counterattack has managed to spread itself all the way down to the river down here and really just basically put a whole bunch of uh, German units in absolute woe for their next turn. Uh, the in the reaction uh, phase uh, last turn, so this will come off at the end of this turn. Uh, the the Germans DG this stack here with the hope that they would be able to overrun it at the very beginning of next turn, but they didn't win initiative. So that's the main news in the southern section of Moscow. Uh, I managed to scarper my first shock. HQ out of the way with the enormous 12 range and um, <clears throat> he's been mildly reinforced uh, with some replacements and things and we're, we're kind of off to the races. We do have uh, third panzer threatening all sorts of nastiness but they're going to have some supply issues because we've still got guys holding out in Tula. Actually that's not Tula, that's uh, some other little dicky town. Uh, What's well, this town here? Stalin Stalinogorsk. 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 So we got that going on. Didn't do a whole lot here. I just uh, just I kept putting extra units in stacks and making the uh, potential opportunity to encircle Moscow uh, look less appealing. And I, and I think we are very close to we could. If I get enough reinforcements next turn, we could even start to try and t entirely pocket uh, all the elements from those five divisions, 20th, 10th, 5th, 11th, and uh, the Dust Reich, which would be pretty pretty horrid. That would be bad. That'd be game over almost, wouldn't it? Uh, over here, last turn we did this dreadful attack with the first guard cab, and it just got ugly. Uh, it was it ended up being a two-step loss for the Soviets. They did force these guys to go low ammo, but they still are astride the railway. Not that it means anything to anybody, but uh, we did. We elected not to do anything else here this turn. All I did was move this one piece down to further reinforce uh, this little circle here. I really couldn't get many other guys into the game, and I don't think these guys will attack next turn, uh, given that they're low ammo. They may well potter off back up that little road there. We don't know. Uh, I'm debating attacking this uh, and, and potentially taking the losses uh, to put these at exhausted, but I don't know that it's worth it. These are precious units. I don't have a lot of really strong units. I've got some airborne guys here or wannabe airborne guys, but we still got to play defense and I don't think it's smart to uh, go frittering away good stuff right now. So uh, all in all, I think Mm. You know, I think the, uh, well, we do, <laughs> yeah, we got a little problem here. We've got some guys kind of advancing here, and there's another guy I forgot to roll for. Oh, no, I roll for him. I took it. I roll for him for supply. Um, I'm going to let these guys come. I'm just going to let them come, and we'll see. We'll see how this holds up here. Hopefully, I've checked all these stacks enough times. I haven't seen the board for three days, so look, that guy's overstacked big time. Uh, not overstacked, illegal overstacked, but just got a lot of guys. Looks like I moved that guy by rail. He needs to move this turn, so we'll do something with him in a minute. That's all the air that's in there. Um, which, see, uh, this is the problem playing by myself. Too much stuff to remember. I need to pay a T for that bad boy, and we'll pull that from somewhere. I've got supply down here. We'll take an SP out of here and put it back. I need uh, one, one and three back. Oh, where was I? Crap. Oh, I grabbed it all. Was it here? Yes, I was. At least I think I was. Anyway, so all these guys are now activated. 
Um, anyway, so that's beside the point. Let's, uh, so the, I think it's stabilized. I'm a little concerned about this, obviously. Uh, that has now distracted me. I've got to move this guy. Uh, we've got to move those guys. Got to check all these little stacks here. And I, I'm not going to go building too much more in terms of defenses here, mainly because I'm a little concerned that I, although I have this massive pile of uh, fours and fives for, uh, uh, for uh, supply, if I do end up being pocketed, I want to make it as painful as possible and last as long as possible. It means I need, I mean, I need a lot of supply in here to uh, to hang on while uh, I, I rebuild if something tragic happens. Down in the south, uh, not a lot of change. There's uh, disasters happening left, right and center. We're falling back on Rostov and uh, trying to make a few uh, a few little pockets of resistance along the way. Uh, further to the north between Rostov and Kharkov. So I'll let you go from there and we'll talk soon. Hey, 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 hey. I'm back real quick. Because um, it's still the 8th of uh, December and I had this, I'm going to link these two videos together. So previously I was just uh, talking about uh, reinforcing this uh, counterattack here. And so I'd just done the supply phase and I'd forgotten to move a couple of guys and then I went back here and I'm looking at this uh, counterattack where I had these guys DG'd and I was kind of disappointed with that because I was planning on widening this breach here. Uh, then I realized what I was actually planning on doing was attacking these dudes here as a headquarters. But poor old 6th Corps is in move mode, defensive one, and uh, there's just a breakdown underneath. So I didn't have any RT in range, but what I did have was uh, these two uh, brigades of artillery, which are 26 on one side. There you go, 26 on one side and uh, just six on the other. So I popped in uh, 12 uh, factors and got a DG, right? Which is really actually pretty cool. So that halved my uh, defense of the breakdown regiment. And I believe that we don't have the HQ, so it's a defense of three. And in essence, I was using, <coughs> I wanted to try and get 10 to one. Sorry about the loud noise, but it, it got hot here and I can't be bothered to get up to turn down the air conditioner so that I can talk to you quietly. Now, uh, so I'm attacking here. There's two step under, underneath there, uh, 12 factors and then four factors and these guys. And I did all the odds and I rolled for surprise and everything. I was like, oh, it's 10 to one. That's awesome. And I rolled for surprise <laughs> and I rolled a two. Oh, and five column shifts back. Now, what I'd forgotten though is uh, I get a one and a half uh, times combat factor for these guys and they're the lead unit. So that would bump me up uh, quite a bit. But nevertheless, it it all basically uh, ended up being about uh, 10 to one, actually rounded down to nine to one. And I had to drop that down to two to one. Um, actually, I didn't roll a two. I rolled a four or five, but there's a zero zero adjustments for act activity ratings. What I rolled a two on was the combat result. So I've got to lose this guy because he was the uh, action rating chappy. I've got to lose one other unit and it's two-step loss. Uh, now, fortunately, this is a multi-step unit here. So we'll just take a step loss here. I really need a pair of tweezers. I tried to go buy those new sexy tweezers that uh, Ty Snuffer was talking about. Or Snoofer. I'm not sure how he likes to pronounce his last name. And I couldn't get them. And I found there were three different prices in Austin or in, in the greater central Texas area. And they range in $575 to $895 in price. All reasonable prices, but I can't get anyone to actually ship them to me. I have to uh, physically go to a store. And I've been to two. Uh, uh, hardware stores and they're not in stock, even though they say they are. Anyway, lost two, these guys hold. Now I've weakened this freaking thing here for the Soviets. My counterattack is now, you know, a problem. So uh, it'll be very interesting to see what happens at the end of the turn. I'm going to take this off now so I don't forget. And that will bring us to the exploitation phase, which there is none. That was the cleanup, I believe. And we'll see you next time.